In order to be a good academic neurosurgeon, you, you not only need to be able to take good care of patients one at a time, but you need to be interested in discovering new ways of taking care of whole classes of patients. Uh, radio surgery, for example, or deep brain stimulation. Part of that training involves research. We're fortunate to have a num number of clinical faculty who are involved in clinical research. We also have some outstanding basic science faculty in the department. I would specifically mention Brent Reynolds. Brent is a world famous uh, neural stem cell biologist. He and his mentor uh, discovered the neurosphere assay. Uh, which is used for identifying neural stem cells around the world. When we made that discovery um, in the early 1990s that the brain did have adult stem cells, that opened the door to the ability of the brain to repair itself. So what we're starting to see now is actually applications of those early findings. There are now several groups um, that are in clinical trials of activating endogenous stem cells, um, and we're working on models of stroke, um, Huntington's disease, uh, ALS, um, Parkinson's disease. The other translational work that's going on in the lab is with brain tumors. He and his team bring very exciting stem cell approaches to the diagnosis and treatment of brain tumors uh, and are now mentoring a number of our residents through their research experience.